All right, we're walking to Safeway. Um, it's really hot right now. Did you know in Chinese there's this saying that's like Qiu Lao Hu, which is like it's hotter in fall than it is during the summer or something. Oh, really? Some nonsense like that. Like, some, something basically like you're only uncomfortable because it's in your head. You just need to not be uncomfortable with But whatever. The heat is all in my head. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> so this week we reached a new low in the sense that we reached a new high um, temperature wise. It was very, very hot. I was sweating in my bedroom, just doing nothing. Um, not very fun. I was optimistic for this week. If you, if you follow in the continuity of these videos, uh, of which there has been one apparently. All right, so have you read the intro? I don't really want to. Okay, I'll skim that, I guess. I think, uh, what about me? What would I do? I actually don't know. What? Or like, I feel like some people might like appear upset, but it's actually like not a big deal. Like there's a how they actually feel, right? Uh -huh. And how they, how they look like they feel, like how, what they express out. So I think that varies depending on people, right? Uh huh. Um, so you gotta know the person. You know if they're like, if it's an actual problem. So yeah. what you're saying is that you know Alex and you can say for certain that he's, well, you can no, probably, you can probably him. say. Also, I just realized he might be a little upset, but I don't think he's, I, I don't even know what you guys are talking about either, so. <laughs> Nothing important, and then he got really mad. <laughs> I, I think he might just not like it, but now he might not be mad, man. Okay. Well, I might be wrong, but who knows, man. Wait, it looks like I'm wearing a hat, for real. <laughs> 8 a.m. I'm on my way to the BART to go birding. Um, it's gonna be hot today, but it's 8 a.m. so it feels nice. The sun is nice and bright, I guess. So apparently, there's like something broken between Hayward and South Hayward because we're getting put on a bus now is interesting. Right, so I'm here at South Hayward and now it's like pretty hot and sunny and I'm just gonna, I guess I'm just gonna sit here for a while. Birding experience. I'm following this pigeon. This is birding right here. Oh, it's eating. Okay. Gotta zoom in. All right. So we're here birding. It's Armand. Wait, it's Armand and it's Sergey. <laughs> wow, bald eagle. It's the no name trail. Alright. Wait, am I even filming a yellow legs? That is yellow legs, right? Great yellow legs? Which one? The one like directly in front of us. Oh no, it's a still. Oh. I really can't even tell. Alright, well I guess you guys are talking about stilts. Okay. So Armand, when we walked out to that <laughs> pond, what was the first bird that caught your eye? Um, probably the black neck neck stilt. It was like uh with the pink legs. And, yeah. yeah it was what what cool. did you think about the black neck stilt? Um yeah, it looked pretty nice because like the water was really calm and we could see the bird. It's very nice too. And like they're just like sitting there waiting for one of them to move. And then like they're all just like standing there and it looks so odd. Yeah. And then just like one of them moves, it takes a step and then all of them take a step. They like do so they need to follow the parents. But I really liked seeing all the shorebirds together. Like the yellow legs and the black neck silks. What did you think about the difference between the greater and the lesser yellow legs? Um, I 
I can't really tell. <laughs> yes, the yellow legs look about the same that they do in the photos. And you can kind of tell the difference by the bill length. I think I was really hopeful that there would be something rare. And there kind of was because we saw the lesser yellow legs, though it wasn't really easy to tell them apart from the greater because they were so far away. All right, so we're here on No Name Trail. It literally smells like um, that highway, you know? Like cow manure. Yeah, like cow manure. Yeah. <sighs> it's pretty bad. Yeah, there's like a lot of water and like we didn't know what it was. Um, we thought it was sewage because it smelled really bad. And then, but then it, it probably wasn't sewage. And uh, um, let's see, oh, we saw like an egret and then that was pretty cool. You know what this trail looks like? It looks like the trail to like the end of the world. <laughs> What do you think of the peeps? Right, the peeps are pretty cool. Like they're really, they're smaller than I thought. Like using like the pictures online, they look pretty big. So it's like, yeah. But it's pretty hard to like tell what they are because it's so hard to see. You, even if you think like, if you see like a group of them and then you think one of them is like something, it doesn't mean all of them are that. Yeah, so you have to look through every single <laughs> yeah. thing. Yeah. And we weren't able to do that for, yeah. If the vlog is that big. Yeah. <laughs> I was also really hopeful at first, <laughs> but then the hope began to gradually fade as we looked through each one because they were all either East or Western as far as we could tell. But I think it was still a pretty valuable experience because we were actually able to see the leg color today, kind of like last time. And I guess like the viewing conditions were much better than they usually are. So I think if there was a Baird's like close up, we would have been able to identify it. We just weren't lucky today. Oh, hot. Oh my god, we're finally leaving. We were supposed to visit two places, but like Sergey couldn't stop himself, so now we only have time for one. Right, Sergey? That's true. That's correct. All right. I was pretty mad the whole time because, like, it was really hot and we really didn't need to go on that day. So like most of the time, I felt like it wasn't really a burden. It was more like suffering in the heat, you know? Hopefully, uh, hopefully next time it'll be, we'll probably go somewhere that's like, we'll probably go at a time that's not like the hottest day in the year. Oh, okay. This part has like no people. Okay. Not no people, but like, wait a minute. Wait, there, but there's no exercise thing here, is there? No. Camera's too smart. It's adjusting. Basically, it looks like really yellow outside. Like... Like... Like it's like sepia. But in real life. Ah! Mmm! Whatever, they better hire me. A bunch of companies are using this stupid thing called Pi Metrics, which are like dumb, dumb mini games that will somehow magically determine how, how risk adverse you are, or how much effort you do, or how much planning you do, just based off of like smashing the space bar. It's, it's really dumb, but you only have to play it once for all the companies, so I mean, saves time, I guess, on that front. We got a deep fryer for Tristan's birthday, and now to celebrate his birthday, we're gonna fry some chicken wings. Wouldn't Tristan... Tristan's speaking to us through the deep fryer. He's gone. Wouldn't he be so happy if he were here? Yeah, he'd be ecstatic. Well, too bad he's not.
This is the best birthday gift ever. We got fire for Tristan's birthday. Uh, made some wings the first time, pretty good. Some wings today, not wings, chicken. Not bad, but uh, it's a bit, a bit problematic. Uh, frying deep, frying twice a week. So we're doing probably once a week at most, I think, on Fridays. Yeah, and also uh, now there's just a big old vat of oil sitting in our kitchen. Kind of unfortunate, but the price we pay for deep fried goods, you know? Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. It's so intense. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, I don't think we should use it too often, but I think it's uh, every once in a while it'll be fun to break out. The finished product. Let's call Tristan. And it looks slightly overcooked, but oh well. Exciting. And Let's then Zach is Tristan. dead. Have you seen that movie where um, they bring those dinosaurs back to life and put them in a theme park? And it's like, wow. This is a grand spectacle of the power of science, but also, should we have done it? Is it perhaps a metaphor for the power of nature to persevere? To persevere, I'm sorry. Blah. The answer is no, it's not. It's simply that the fryer was potentially too much for us because it's stinky and we now have to buy more oil and it's unhealthy. It does also enable Aaron to cook weirder things, which is good and bad. So it's, it's what time? Go to the balcony, it's nine. It's 9.30. And then outside, it's just like red or something. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> the sky was as if it was from a student film project in high school where the student wanted to convey that it was the end times, a wasteland, and they decided to slap a generic color filter over everything. It was so plain that it sickened me. <sighs> it looks like the world is ending for some reason. Let's get out of there. Yeah, let's go. I was pretty excited because like maybe there's some cool photos or something outside because it's all red. You know, you don't see that every day. And I also saw a picture on Reddit where it's all red too in like Oregon or something. I'm like, hey, that's kind of cool. <coughs> Looks a lot brighter on the camera than it does in real life. <laughs> yeah. Took some photos on the way. Got one good photo. Pretty happy with. Decently happy with. It's not like insane, but it was nice. The camera makes it look too bright. Maybe I should dim it down in post. <laughs> Looks too bright. I don't oh like this. <laughs> we got free masks. In this post-apocalyptic world, we all need a silly looking mask. And uh, we got the masks and the masks kind of suck. <laughs> I got like teeny tiny masks, so I threw them away. Unfortunate waste of cloth, but I had no use for them. Uh, but yeah, it was all red. Apparently AQI wasn't that bad, so we went exercising afterwards. But it was red. All right, tech expert, tell us what we're seeing. I don't know. All right, yeah, good Zach expertise. Tech tips in the wasteland. All right, if this is still here, I might yank it. Tech tips in wasteland. <laughs> that could be a pretty good segment. This way, more biceps. So we're doing rings in the midst of smoke wasteland roads yes wasteland plan tech tips from zach should i shuck the hard drive oh that's not even what's in uh, here what are we looking at power supply cpu mobile no ram fan i don't think there's a hard drive no ram <laughs> just download the ram right right alex no all right well, i'll just leave it i don't think you'll vote this week was pretty bad um despite having an extra day of weekend. 
the actual days of the school week were pretty like awful, either being uneventful, uh, unhealthy, um, unhealthy in a third and fourth and fifth way, or just like plain disappointing. Um, I will give this week a four out of 10. So next week, there's really only one thing I'm looking for. It's very simple. I just want to go outside again. I've been going crazy cooped up in here. Yeah, I mean like, imagine if Tristan was here. It'd be even crazier. With the AQI at like 250, I can't go on a run. I can't go to the park. I can't stroll leisurely and aimlessly. Um, I can't have a reason to listen to my podcasts. So yes, I would like the air to be better and to be able to go outside. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Bye-bye. I don't know. I just hope I finish all my work and the weather gets better. I guess a lot of fun things have happened this week, but they're all pretty low key. Everything's pretty low key when you're stuck inside. I guess I'll start with like this weekend coming up. So uh, I got like Monday, Monday, Tuesday stuff for three, four classes. So if I can get those done by like with the 16 C test, then I'm cruising for Tuesday, Wednesday. So I'm gonna try to, if I can go ham over the weekend, that'd be great. Uh, I don't know if I have motivation for that, but I'll see how I feel tomorrow. Um, other than that, uh, I applied for one club for innovative design. I've already applied like three times and got rejected all three times. So I don't really care at this point, but this time I know the guy uh, who's like leading. So maybe I might get in, but if not, that's fine. But cool if I get in. And then other than that, um, gonna reach out to some people, uh, maybe participate in some research. Hopefully we can get some positive responses maybe. But you know, all up in there and not a big deal if we don't because we're kind of already doing a lot already so like comment subscribe yep <laughs> <laughs>